Storms Channel 5 weather. And welcome back everyone. Hopefully you had a fantastic Saturday. Here's a look at a time lapse through the evening hours over the Grand Mesa. Can't see it all that well due to that haze and uh, smoke still in place uh, across portions of the western slope and still here in the Grand Valley. We had a break uh, Friday yesterday afternoon due to some gusty winds with that cold front, but it's brought it right back in as it moved on through and uh, we're still on the warm side though. The front uh, pushed well into the plains, so we still saw those warmer afternoon temperatures uh, around the region today. Almost midnight 90s, 94 after this afternoon in Grand Junction was our high. We hit 90 degrees in Montrose earlier today. 93 was our high in Rifle and 83 in Aspen. So a few degrees above average for this time of year. And still on the mild side at this hour in some of the lower valleys, including the Grand Valley. 79, that's about it here in Grand Junction at this hour. Lower 70s in Rifle, 73, 72 in Montrose, 62 in Aspen, and currently 66 degrees in Glenwood Springs. So this is Storm Tracker Doppler 5 live across the western slope. Not a lot happening. This is all just uh, negative uh, radar feedback. So this is uh, not any rainfall. So we're actually seeing uh, mostly clear conditions across our region. Had a few uh, isolated showers uh, over the San Juans a little bit earlier today and some thunderstorms. But for now, everything was starting to wind on down and pretty much done uh, for the day. Uh, as the sun has now set, we've lost that daytime heating. So this is a wider look at what we're dealing with. Here's that frontal system that I was talking about. And uh, uh, because of the the Rocky Mountains. It's uh, kind of uh, draped up and over uh, this region, a typical pattern that we actually see. And uh, this will continue to march into the plains with this low pressure system. And uh, so we're not going to get cooled off from this frontal system at all. And uh, the haze is actually going to stay in place. It does look like, especially into our day tomorrow and Sunday, and even lingering into Monday for portions of our region as high pressure pretty much takes over our weather pattern and it just gets stuck with some stagnant airflow over the next couple of days. But the, it does look like by the time we get to Tuesday and into Wednesday, especially that haze should be all but gone. It should be gone as we start to see a, fl a flow from the south and southwest with another chance for some moisture across our region. But it does look like it's going to be around causing some uh, health problems. It does look like or at least some uh, uh, issues for sensitive groups at least the next day or two. Overnight tonight, low of about 62 in Grand Junction. That haze remaining mostly clear skies, though. Other than that, tomorrow warming up once again, I'm saying about 94. It's what we hit today. It should be similar to what we saw today for your afternoon high tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, plenty of sunshine. Our average high is 89, so five degrees above average for this time of year in August. Mostly sunny skies around the western slope for your Sunday afternoon. I'm saying 96 in Delta, the hot spot. 93 Olathe, about 89 in Montrose. Slight chance for a stray shower rolling off the San Juans, but it does look like most of the moisture once again will be in southwestern Colorado. We should remain on the dry side for the most part Sunday. 91 in Newcastle, Glenwood Springs tomorrow afternoon, upper 80s, 88 in Carbondale. Mostly sunny skies, high of 82 in Aspen as well. Just a slight chance for a shower uh, across your region tomorrow, but it does look like most of the activity will remain to the south of Aspen. And here, uh, speaking of Aspen, here's your three day forecast, keeping a uh, potential for some hazy conditions into Monday as well. Very slight chance into Monday. Then we start to see a better chance for some showers and possibly a few thunderstorms. By the time we get to our Tuesday, highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Montrose, here's our three day forecast. Similar story, just about a 10% chance for a quick shower or two in the afternoon hours through the day on Monday. Then that moisture starts to increase by the time we get to Tuesday and definitely into this upcoming uh, Wednesday. Highs mainly in the mid to upper 80s, a little bit above average for this time of year. And Grand Junction, here's our three day forecast. Highs look to remain in the lower 90s through this upcoming Tuesday. Hazy, it looks like potentially into the day on Monday. We start to increase those clouds by the time we get to Tuesday. And then as the rest of the week pans on out, there's that increase in moisture on our Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, about a 30% chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Highs will drop off significantly. Look at Tuesday into Wednesday, only in the mid 80s.